everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a makeup video, um, all focused on Spectrum Collection's new brushes. So I have basically been given an exclusive preview and I've been allowed to video all about their brushes and showcase it to you guys so you can have the first peek. So they've got some new brushes which are in a rose gold blush and hot pink design they come in two different cases so the first one is a rollout case which is really great for makeup lovers on the go so it rolls out into a set of 12 brushes um absolutely love the design i also am so in love with this holographic sort of pink mermaid case i think it's so so cute and how cute is this little shell? And it matches my mermaid earrings. Um, yeah, so I love the design. I think the brushes are really, really cute and they're so, so soft. So what I thought I would do is actually video me putting my makeup on today, but using some of the brushes just to kind of show you guys which brushes I'd use and what for, just to give you a little inspiration. The other makeup bag that it comes in so basically you have two choices you can either pick the rollout bag or you can pick this mermaid shell bag which comes with a chain so if you want to go on a night out and take your brushes with you and have them sort of on the go and also have the cutest bag ever then i would definitely opt for this one as you can see look how shiny it is and then it pops out into the set of the same 12 brushes so absolutely love that and to be fair you could even take the brushes out and have it as a handbag if you want so it's kind of like a two-in-one product so the rrp is 79.99 for both of these you can basically just pick which bag you prefer i think i personally would go for the handbag just because i love styling up mermaid kind of inspired outfits so this would definitely feature in lots of my outfits so keep your eyes out but also i think if you are sort of a makeup person on the go then this one probably would be better for you because you could probably put it in your makeup kit um yeah so really really great price so i'm just gonna get to it and i'm gonna start my makeup so i'm gonna start with the brush numbered c02 so now i'm gonna use this to apply my foundation Now what I love about this brush is that it's so, so soft. It's also got a flat top, so it's really easy to apply your foundation and I apply it in circular motions on my skin so I know it's fully blended. Next up, I'm going to take brush A07. And this is a smaller brush now and I'm going to apply my concealer. So I'm gonna just get a little bit on the brush. And I'm going to start applying it just underneath my eye. and blending it outwards. And on top of my eye as well, and just in the corners. Now, I like to use my finger for my concealer. So I'm just going to dab underneath to make sure it's all pressed in. Now this brush is great for getting right into the corners of your eyes and right up so you can fill in any little gaps and it's just the right size to fit on the pocket of my eye bags now i like to use a transparent powder to seal my concealer in and the brush i'm going to use to help me do that is number c03 so i'm using this because it's really soft and fluffy so it won't put too much pressure underneath my eye and also because it will fit really nicely underneath my eye pocket, but also a bit lower and up my cheekbones to seal my concealer in. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of my illuminating powder on my brush. And then I'm going to dab this just underneath both of my eyes. And this will hold my concealer together all day long. Now 
Now don't worry if you get any of the loose powder anywhere else because I'm going to use another one of Spectrum's brushes and I'm going to be using this really big fluffy one uh, in A00. So this is going to be the one that I use to powder my, the whole of my face. So I'm just going to get my face powder, put some on the brush and then I just sort of lightly go over all of my face. Now this large brush is great because it can go over larger areas of your face and it just makes it quicker to apply your powder. It's nice and fluffy so it spreads it all out evenly and it doesn't push it too hard against your skin. You just want a really light finish. So as you can see I'm starting to build up my look now and these brushes are really helping. So next up in my makeup look that I'm creating with Spectrum's brushes is I like to highlight the underneath of my eye even more um, than just using the concealer. So I'm going to take a very light skin coloured powder in sort of a natural colour and I'm just going to put some underneath my eyes. Um, I just like doing this because I like to make the underneath of my eyes pop. I find that I've got quite sort of dark red bags so I like to conceal them. So I'm going to use brush number B06 for that just because it's a really small brush and it's got a nice head on it that can fit again on the underneath of my eyes. So I'm going to put some of the powder on the end and just dab very lightly and sort of underneath my eye but also blending outwards. Really see, it's really just highlighting the underneath of my eye and illuminating it. Just a little bit more. These brushes are great for blending as well. So if you mess up or you go too heavy, you can just blend the colour out. Cool, so that is my base nearly done. So on to the contouring. So the brush I use for my contouring is brush number a05 now i use that because it's got an angled end but it's also still light and fluffy so again it's it'll be really great for blending so i always start with the darker color for my contouring so i'm going to start just on the underneath of my cheekbone so where both of my cheeks kind of start going in and because it's at an angle i always use the brush so the top the furthest point of the brush will go into here and then you can kind of move the brush down like so and also you can blend it upwards as well and you'll start to see the contour taking shape And what I love is that the brush isn't too heavy. It doesn't apply it all at once. You can just blend it out and keep building up the colour you desire. Now I'm going to go around the top of my forehead and back down the other side. And again, it's great for the angle for this because it really shapes to your head the brush as you apply the colour. And then what I do for the other side is I twist the brush and go down the other way. And then I'm going to do the same to the side. So again, I'm going to be brushing upwards. And as you can see, I've angled the brush so the highest point is pointing to my ear. Just going to keep building up the colour. And also sometimes I like to twist the brush so the highest point is towards my mouth just because then I get most of the powder on this end up here. I can kind of go backwards and build it up. So 
So then I'm on to the highlighting, which I like to use a different brush for this, just because I don't need the angle to kind of guide me. I'm gonna be focusing on these parts here, so my cheekbones, the middle of my forehead, and my nose. So for this, I'm going to be taking the same brush that I use for my transparent powder, so C03. Now, I'm gonna apply the lighter sort of highlighting color, but it's a, it's a nude, so it's just sort of not giving me a shimmer, it's quite a matte finish. So I'm gonna start by just dabbing on my cheekbones, and then just sort of blending. Like so. And then with the angled brush, which was A05, which I used my contour, I'm just gonna blend the darker shade into the lighter shade, so I get rid of that sort of line. I'm also gonna apply it just underneath the darker color, just to kind of emphasize it a little bit more. Now this is a great brush, because again, it's really light and fluffy, and the brush is pretty, it's a pretty good size to sort of cover the whole area of your cheekbone. Like so. And I'm just gonna sort of lightly dab on my forehead, down my nose, and my chin to finish off. So that is the contouring. Now I always like to add a bit of a shimmer on top of my matte highlighter. And for this, because I don't want it to be over the top and too much, I like to use a smaller brush. So I'm gonna be using B05 for this. As you can see, it's a smaller head compared to all of the other contouring brushes I've used. Now this is gonna go down the middle of my nose and just on top, of my cheekbone here and just sort of underneath my eye and then I like to bring it round and highlight the brow bone. So I'm going to start by applying a bit of the highlighter on my brush and I'm going to start by just dragging the brush very lightly and kind of moving in circular motions on the top of my cheekbone. Now I don't press too hard, just because I like to build up the highlight. And I'm gonna drag it on top of my eye brow bone. And then also around the corner of my eye and on top of the brow bone as well. And if you feel like you've gone a bit too heavy, then I'm gonna take C03 brush, which is the one I used for the matte nude colored highlight. And I'm just gonna lightly blend over the shimmer just to press it in a bit more and blend it up. So if you can see, I've got a really nice shimmer now. So I'm gonna do the same to the other side. Just lightly press and sort of in circular motions on my brow bone, around the corner of my eye and on top of my brow bone. Building up the shimmer for the highlight. And again, just brushing over gently. So that's the highlight done on my cheekbones. And then my nose, this is a great brush because I mean, for my nose anyway, it's quite wide that it fits all the way down the middle of my nose. So I can kind of just draw a straight line with it for the highlight. Now, some people like to contour all their nose, which I personally do as well. So for that, I'm going to be using brush B06. Now, some people would probably use a thinner brush, but I don't like to heavily contour my nose. I kind of just want to shape it a bit with a bit of shading. So I like to use this brush because it's a bit thicker at the top and it's slightly flat, but not flat. So 
you can kind of easily blend out the shading of the contour if you go in too heavy. So I'm going to start by sort of finding the point of my nose at the top where I want to contour down and I'm going to drag the brush just down. Now I won't press too heavy and this brush is great because it's quite fluffy just because I want to build up the colour again. Another great thing about this brush as well is that you can drag the shading downwards as well to the outer part of your nose just to blend a bit better. And it's also a really great size to do the tip of your nose. And there you have it, so that's my nose contoured. So that's basically the base of my makeup pretty much done. Um, there's a lot of smaller brushes in the kit that you can use for your eyes. So, for example, we've got brush A15, which is a very sort of thin nib which is great for if you wanted to add some eyeliner on, which I am going to do. And then you've got brush A14, which is an angled, very thin brush. This is a great eyebrow brush. But also if you wanted to do the cut crease eye sort of look, then this would also be great for that because you've got a nice precision line that you can create. Then we've got a couple of other brushes. So we've got A12 and A13, which are slightly larger. So these are great if you just wanna apply some eyeshadow or also blend a color into the crease, which is what I'm going to do as well. So I'm gonna start with brush A12. To, when I do a liner look I like to just blend in a sort of brownie beigey shade into my crease just to give my eye a bit of a shape so I'm gonna start kind of heavy-ish with the color on the crease now it might look a bit crazy at first but I do blend it out And then I like to take a slightly larger brush. So I'm gonna go back in with B06 and I'm gonna blend that out. And this one's great for blending because it's a lot fluffier than the previous brush I just used. I haven't added any color onto the brush. It's just great for blending, like so. So for the liner, I as I said, I'm gonna take brush A15 and I'm gonna go in with a gel liner. I'm gonna use black. And as you can see, flat nib. And it's gonna be great for creating a nice feline flick. So I'm gonna start on the middle of my eye. I'm gonna work my way outwards. to create the flick. So I always kind of build up my flick by creating a little one and then dragging it inwards and I keep just building it and building it up till I get the flick that I desire. like so. This brush has got a great nib to create the flick because of the thin end it's got. So that is my flick that I've created with the brush numbered A15. So that's the flicks done. So I just wanted to show you how you can use brush A14 for your brows. So I'm going to take my brow product 
Now I like to use a pomade when I apply my brows. So I put a bit of my brow product onto the brush. As you can see, this brush has got a really nice angle and a very, very thin top. So it's gonna be great for creating my brow look. So I'm gonna go in and I always like to start my brows on the end of my eyebrows. And because of the thinness to the brush, it's really easy to get very very close to your natural brow line so you don't overline your eyebrows too much so they look a lot more natural the brush doesn't hold too much pomade as well so it's really easy to create a look that's a bit more sort of an ombre brow which a lot of people do tend to like and another thing that's great because of the thinness to the brush is that you can sort of create extra hairs. A lot of people like to sort of do straight lines to create the illusion that they've got extra brow hairs in case they're sort of missing any or they want to extend their eyebrow. Mm. So that is one of my brows done. So they are my brows done. So that's basically my makeup pretty much done using nearly all 12 of the brushes. So yeah, so kind of just a bit of a summary of the brushes. I um, absolutely love them. I think the colour is really, really cool. Uh, it's different, they're fun. Like obviously if you're a bit of a wannabe mermaid like me then you'll absolutely fall in love with them the packaging is to die for um it's so instagrammable and also i love the fact that you can get the brushes within a bag because then you kind of you've got an extra accessory there that you can style up for your outfits if you wanted uh, to take to a night out or a festival or something so yeah so love the brushes like i've been able to pretty much use every single one to create my makeup look that i've just done in front of you um they've all been really really great i love the fact that they're really soft and fluffy some of them but also the ones that you kind of need to be a little bit more harsh like the brow brush they are and some of them have got very thin nibs which are great for creating liner for example but then you've also got ones that you can use to sort of blend your makeup so there's a nice range of 12 brushes which you can create a full face look like I've just done. So I hope you enjoyed this sort of mini tutorial slash review of the new and exclusive Spectrum brushes. Um, yeah, so keep an eye out on my Instagram for any pictures of the brushes because I absolutely love the packaging. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and please like and subscribe if you did. Peace out.